Hi, today I want to show you how to install AtraCap on a macOS operating system and the special thing is here that we will install AtraCap from the latest code version from GitHub so we compile it here and I'm showing you how to do this on macOS. The first thing you will have to have before is Homebrew. You search just for on the web for Homebrew to get it. It's easy to install, just copy the string. Uh, we open the terminal and just insert it there, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, then we enter our password that sudo gets the permission. Okay, so this is, this has been done quite quick. Normally be it's taking much longer, so you need to be quite patient during the installation of Homebrew because it's also in downloading and installing some SDK for Xcode, um, for like the compiler stuff, etc. And uh, this, this, this will take some time, so be patient, it will end some time, and Homebrew is then installed. So the first thing you should then do is to, to update Homebrew itself by typing brew update. Okay, for the fresh installation it's already up to date. And now we can proceed with installing the dependencies for Etacap uh, using Homebrew. So we type brew install, and now we need quite some uh, libraries and, and binaries. So we first thing is check, we need curl, we need CMake, also ghost script is a dependency, GTK plus GTK plus 3 because you have the choice. Um, we need libidn and libnet Lua JIT RTAMP dump GUIP. Mm, this should this should it be? Um, of course, we need some more things like OpenSSL, but OpenSSL, for example, is an already an dependency uh, of GTK plus. So we don't have to take care about this. So this will now take some time until the dependencies are installed. So apparently I have quite some sub-dependencies installed, so normally this step also takes a little bit longer. Um, you ju just have to wait until the, the operation finishes, and then you're done. Um, I want to clone now Ethercap into my uh, dev directory, so I change into it and I say now git clone. Uh, let's, let's first make sure that I have purged the prior uh, copy of Ethercap. So git clone. Okay, this has been done. We can now change into the directory of Ethercap. And now building Ethercap is like we would do it on a Linux system. We have to create a build directory, change into it. And from here we start CMake to create all the make files. 
and uh, with the flex that we typically use. So what I also uh, always do, so it should not be done in productive environment, but um, for f handing in issues or troubleshooting issues, it's uh, good to have the build type set to debug. This way, um, additional log file has been written with uh, a debug output that is helpful to analyze in potential issue. I always do is I always uh, enable IPv6 support and then we just type dot dot for the parent directory so now CMake fails on the step for OpenSSL this is something that is special to um, yeah the macOS environment um, we need to define this variable OpenSSL root dir with the uh, yeah, root directory for the OpenSSL installation done by brew. Uh, we can do this by using the brew prefix uh, flag OpenSSL. So this shows us where the root directory is and we will embed this command now in our CMake um, command by defining the open SSL root dir equals and then the execution codes brew prefix open SSL uh, this won't work here we go nope and I forgot the the double dot. Okay, now OpenSSL went fine and configuring done. So this has been done. Looks good. So now we can proceed with typing make. And now Adder Cap is built in uh, debug mode. So it could be that some warnings are thrown. Um, this is normal in, or well not normal, but this is quite typical for the debug mode because yeah warnings are more verbose uh, than in if you would have like a release mode build but looks like it goes through without any warnings so that's good Okay, and then we can type sudo make install, provide our password. And then we can try to start attackcap using sudo. Of course, I have to select an interface and I choose the graphical interface. And here we go. Here we have, uh, we take the EN0 adapter. Okay, we have the hosts list, we can scan for hosts. Of course the, the UI is not that uh, fancy and like on a Linux system as it's not native for uh, macOS, but it does the job. Yeah, so now in the uh, Ethercap, now in, in the directory where Ethercap has been executed, was at a cap build, you will find a debug log. You, you see it. And uh, this is the information that you will be asked to, to be provided when, you, when we have to analyze an issue on uh, macOS. Okay, yeah, that's it for this uh, session. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that it helped you um, yeah, to build at a cap from source on a macOS operating system. Uh, yeah, I hope you come around again on our channel and watch our new videos uh, published soon. So take care, have fun and bye.